Good <laughs> morning, everybody. Welcome to the first meeting of the year. I know we didn't have one uh, last week or the week before, but I thought I'd give you a week or two just to settle down. So we've got some stuff to do. I just want to um, uh, just welcome everybody. Welcome the new agents. I don't know who's new that's here or not, but we've got some new agents. We've been working hard and we're getting some more new agents. Uh, so just a reminder, make some agents down, make yourself uh, 5,000 Rand by referring an agent to Linda. It's uh, very easy. You talk to the agent and say, hey, why don't you join us? Uh, Property Cousin is fantastic. You can an 80-20, uh, no desk fees. And I'm going to get Linda to phone you, no obligation. And then uh, Linda phones her, or her, the him, and then you get 5,000 rand. So like, I'd be doing that if I were you. Oh, sorry, these guys are not joining. Okay. Okay, so the, the first thing I want to just quickly discuss is... Um, the the uh, just just for your records it's quite interesting for me that we've got of our deals that are with attorneys we've got 50 percent of them with ngl and 50 percent of them with non-preferred attorneys now that I, I prefer you to have everything with ngl and the reason is patently obvious ngl has lodged six so far and they've got another five to lodge so we get 11 in the deeds office right now the other 50 percent of the attorneys all the other attorneys that you guys have used have got how many lodged zero okay so that means that in this first part of the year they haven't started working yet or whatever reason they haven't lodged and your, your payday is going to be delayed by three weeks because remember lodgement is still about two weeks to payday if they haven't lodged yet that you, you it's basically a month you're going to wait a month longer for your money so i would uh, you need to look quite hard at why you should support ngl and that for me is one of the important reasons cash flow is quite important in a business like in a commission business i think you all do know that yeah okay so that's just one thing the what lies ahead this year well i'm a hundred percent sure utterly convinced and there's nobody that convinced me any other way so I'm 100% sure it's going to be completely and utterly um, uncertain. So we're not going to know. So I'm dead sure we're not going to know what's going on this year. And if it's anything like last year, you're going to feel that, that angst. And it's either COVID or Omicron or flipping some other nonsense that the people are dreaming up. And the whole world's wearing thin of it. And we're all on this, we don't know, and lock us down. And everybody bought more booze than they needed to in December because they were scared Cyril was going to lock us down. And then he didn't. And now we've got these massive parties to have. Luckily, he's un they dropped the curfew. So you can invite me around if you want to flatten some of your stupid stock that you bought. Okay. So this uncertainty, though, is, is going to impact on us. And I've just got two things to say before we carry on. You know, the, the, there are going to be changes. The new acts coming into place. There's many new things happening and uncertainty is part of our lives now. So we need to do something about this. And I, I, it just occurs to me that there are about three things that I can think of. The one is that you, can, you need to create your own certainty. Okay, it sounds a bit counterintuitive, but it's not. It's, it's absolutely the right thing to do. You simply need to create your own certainty. So in a very unstable environment, in a very difficult world, in a very unsure thing, the one thing that you can do is form a structure for yourself. You can make your calls, you can get your leads, you can get your, your um, appointments set, and you can get a, a disciplined a work life in place. And that will ease your angst enormously because you will feel certain. I know exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow. I am waiting for Omicron. I'm not waiting for Cyril to phone or to tell us that everything's cool or that there's another outbreak because there is going to be another variant and they are going to carry on and on and on. And they want to vaccinate me another six times. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to work and I've got work to do. So you just get on with it because if you don't get on with it, you know, you're not going to be able to cope. You cannot sit at home waiting for direction. There is nobody that's going to phone you and say, hey, uh, Christelle, you have to now start working. Please, everything's okay. You know, you're fine. No, who's going to do that? Well, there is one out. It's me. I'm telling you to do that. So here's your, here's your cue. Take it and get on with it. Okay. 
So that's the first thing I, I can think of. So plan, get, create your own certainty in your life and start acting. Take control of your lives, guys. You, the locus of control in your life needs to be within. Don't wait for other people. You're going to be waiting a long time. So that's the first thing. The second thing is fall forward. It's okay to fail and it's okay to be embarrassed by your scores last year. And it's okay to be bad at sales. It's okay for everything. But if you keep going and you fall forward, it's better than sitting and falling backwards and, and becoming bad at something and taking this, oh, drama, I can't, I can't. Nonsense. Keep going, keep failing, and you will succeed. But you've got to, it's all in the do. Do, 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 do. Okay. So that's the other thing. And then um, I think you should be prepared for change. I think that a good agent would look at his life, uh, look at last year, and identify that this uncertainty that there is definitely going to be change. The market is changing. Interest rates are going up. What does that mean? Well, for people that are buying, it means that the buyer's market might be dampened a bit. What does that mean for investors? Well, their eyes are pricking up again because why rentals are going to go up. So if rentals go up because people can't buy, then maybe you should pivot to rentals. So if you're a sales agent and there's uncertainty in the market, maybe it's time to start doing rentals. If you're a rentals agent, you've had a hard time because rentals have been a bit uh, sort of quiet. Maybe it's time to get into commercial. You have to do something. What you can't do is sit here and, and say, well, the uncertainty is too hard. I don't know what to do. You've got to prepare for change and make it happen. You be the change. Don't let people dictate to you. Don't get forced into rentals because you can't make sales. Make the change now. You do it in your own terms, with your own uh, time frames, and with your own planning, rather than, it, oh, I ran out of money, now I have to become a rental agent, or now I have to leave the industry. It's not the right way to go around. You guys must take control of it, please. Okay, so just do. Do not think about it. Do not plan. And if you look at a great philosopher of our time, one of the greatest, Yoda, in Star Wars 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, says, there is only do. There is no try. Okay, so just do. Keep with it. So anyway, that's not why you're here. That's just some rambling. What I suggest that you do is uh, listen attentively. We're going to uh, ask our top performers. And I specifically asked uh, Rob, Gary, and Julie to to um, ask if I could ask them a couple of questions. They together or singly or in their, in their groups, you know, Rob has a team and uh, uh, we can only have one person on. And then obviously Julie uh, for center point at the time and Gary have performed well and, and got themselves into a position where they are number one in our outfit. Now, if we number one in the country and they number one, they're probably agents that know more than I. So we're going to ask them a couple of present, uh, a couple of questions, just simply to try and understand what's going on there in their heads. Okay, and what I said to them was, guys, won't you all think about what does a top performer do to start the year? You know, what is it that they do? Rob didn't like roll out of bed. Well, maybe I don't know, but maybe he rolled out of bed this morning and said, "Ah, oh, I must start work," and just like started signing deals. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work like that in Rob's life or Julie's or Gary's or anybody's. So I was interested to hear, what is it? What is this unfair advantage that they've got over us? How come they, have, they can sign four deals in one day or 10 deals in a, in a couple of months? You know, why are they so fortunate and lucky and we so deprived? Well, let's listen. So the first thing I want to ask, if you don't mind, Rob, I'll start with you. Um, and the first question I've got on this, what do top performers do to kickstart the year, is the simple question of putting first things first. Like, what is it that's the first thing that you did this year to start your, your year? Hi, Anton. Um, our sort of new year really starts in about August, September, when we start looking at printing calendars. So what we do, and, and these are the calendars that we've, we've put together and we send out. With all the rain at the moment, we actually, I've still got them sitting in my office. <laughs> <laughs> but the theory is to actually get them out there to all, all the, the clients in my farming area. So it's everything to do with pre-planning, getting the calendars out, um, mass emails that I send out either before Christmas saying happy holiday, or this year we were a bit late and we sent it out and said happy new year, wish you all the best for the festive thing. To me, it's, it's all about keeping yourself visible to the clients out there. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, Rob, I think we, let's just go through all three of the questions, then we won't jump around too much, if you don't, if you don't mind. So, the, okay. so that's putting first things first. The second thing is, 
Um, what, what, what do you expect of 2020, Rob? What is your uh, prediction? What, you know, what do you see for the industry or for us or for yourself? In fact? So, yeah, I think, as you said, there, there is going to be changes that happen and there's always going to be, well, it seems like there's always going to be an Omricon or something virus around the place. But I, I just believe we've got the, the best job because people have to sell. At some point in their lives, people have to sell. We, we're not in an economy where people can afford to keep all their houses and then go bigger, keep that house, go into retirement, keep that house, et cetera, et cetera. So as people age, they have to sell. As they somebody dies, they get divorced. So to me, there's always going to be houses on the market. So whether interest rates go up or down, there's always going to be people that are selling. And then the more active you are, you're just going to match it to the buyers that are out there in terms of getting interest on those, those properties. Um, and yeah, lots, lots of cold calling. Always lots and lots of cold calling. Okay, cool. Thank you. And then Rob, the last question I wanted to know from you is, um, if, if people haven't done what you said, what you did, and they won't have, because you know you do your things and other people do other things. But um, from your estimation, what is it that an agent needs to do? Let's say we start, if they've got, a, they've got home from leave today. What is the planning, the preparation, the budgeting? What is it that they should do today to start their year? Now, what would you recommend if I said, hey, I'm back. Rob, what must I do? To, to me, the, the, the gold nugget that every agent has to have is a database. I know some people tend to sell in different areas and you know that's beyond me. I don't know how to do that. But for me, if I've got my little farming area, I want to have a database where I can contact people, send out the, the mass e emailing, um, the, the bulk drops, all those type of things. And then at the beginning of the year, we sort of market or budget for a marketing budget. And that's anything between five and 10% of what we expect to earn during the year. Um, yeah, like I said, keep your, your, your database up to date and keep building it. And then have a look at things like community events in your area, see how you can get involved with all that. And again, as I said, it's just all about visibility. The, the more visible you are, the more likely that someone's gonna phone you and if he's coming to sell my house, or if you get in front of them with three other agents, it's more likely that they're going to then say, ah, oh, I know Rob, Rob and Robin, or whoever it is, they've been in the area, I get emails from them, I see his car driving around, it's branded, as opposed to some guy that he's got no idea who it is. So it's all about visibility and why they should actually use you as the agent to sell, which, which is probably their most valuable asset in their life. Cool. Thank you, Rob. Thanks for that. Right. Our next victim um, is Julie. Let's see our Julie. And we're going to compare your answers, Julie, and we're going to judge you mercilessly. Huh? Just saying. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> Hang on. Unmute, unmute yourself so long, Julie. Right. Remember what Julie's saying is she, she's going to answer the question as to what top performers are going to be doing to start the year. Uh, not. Julie's having a lovely day. No, you're going to start wow. again, Julie. I'm going right. to start again. <laughs> Hang on. So let's ask you the first question. What is first thing? Good morning. For? What is the first thing that an agent does? First thing. Uh, okay. Okay. So I've only just got back from holiday. I've been on holiday for two months. Um, yep. <laughs> I needed a good rest and I'm back. All right. Uh, Sunday, I, I got back from, Joe, from Cape Town. Um, on the Saturday, funnily enough, I did my business planning. So I was still on holiday. I was looking at the beach and I had a lovely coffee and I just started. Right. Uh, I do things a lot differently to Rob. Um, how I kick start um, the, the year is I have to mentally get myself ready. Um, property is very emotional for a woman and it's an up and it's a down. It's a roller coaster. 
So I have to mentally get myself ready to say, right, what do we need to do? Okay. Kickstart the year, we have to become the best we can become. Okay. Expectations for the year. Um, rentals, you spoke about rentals. I am, I'm not a big rental agent, but I've spoken to Madeleine and I've seen that there's a, a gap in the market to possibly do a couple of rentals. Um, I have two brand new rentals that I'm going to rent in um, Glenda's area in Irene. I have asked her to come along, possibly her and I can do rentals together um, because we both knew in rentals. And then you asked for, but I am optimistic for this year. Planning, what you need to do, budgeting, what you need to make, preparation, what you need to do, as in boards. Yesterday, I drove around Midrand and I put up 100 sold boards. So as Rob said, visibility is critical. We all need to understand that we start the year on zero. So it doesn't matter what's in your pipeline. My year runs from January to December. I start again fresh in, in January and I start with zero. At the moment, I have nothing on the table. Okay, but that's okay, it's coming. Every day is a brand new day. Every year is a brand new year. Um, we must remember that we are contractors, independent contractors. Um, nobody but nobody will care about your business as you will. Okay, like Anton said. We have to have online presence, like what Rob just said there. Um, quality of your listings to me is number one. If Clients say to you, no, 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 I've got photographs, like somebody told me today, I've got photographs, I'll send to you. No, I don't want those photographs, okay? I will go and take my own photographs, all right? You need to feel a house, you need to see a house, you need to be able to explain that house to somebody, okay? Your agent bio restructuring on the internet. You've got to do your, your agent uh, bio. Who are you? Why, shouldn't a, why should a, a client contact you? Because that's your business card online. Marketing, LMS, CRM, I'm very, very big on that. Just listed and just sold. I do not um, have any property that is just listed and I don't send it to my database and I don't have it just sold and I don't not send it to my database. Okay, um, it's time consuming, but it's what has to be done. Uh, P24, um, I like to get exclusive mandates. I don't really work on open mandates. If I do work on an open mandate, it's because I've done my absolute best and I need that to possibly show another property that is of similar um, stature, but I will always sell my sole mandates first. Um, Premier listings are very important to me. And I think if you have a sole mandate, you need to pay that extra bit and get a premier listing for your clients. All right. Uh, the big future success for 2022. Um, think big, but think in small portions. Uh, plan every day. Um, Calm down, organize yourself. I, I, these are notes that I write to myself. Organize your life, organize your mind. That is critical for me, okay? Um, Non-negotiables to me. Sorry, Anton, am I going on a little bit too long? One minute. Okay. Service, commitment, accountability, okay? To yourself. How to begin? Uh, possibilities, you've got to know your market. You've got to know what stock is on the, the market at current. Um, and I can tell you all these figures. I mean, I've got all these figures. Um, if Midrand agents want to phone me, I can give you those figures. Um, so know your market. Um, you need to know sectional title, full title, um, all those sorts of things. You need to know where are you focusing? Are you focusing full title, sectional title, apartments? Okay. Um, stock for me is the most, most, most critical. Um, before I even send anything out to my database, I find stock. So I started a week prior to me uh, getting back 
in Joburg, I've got eight new properties to list. So today I'll be listing properties. Um, how did I do that? I, a lot of it is referrals, I must say, but I have my canvasser and my canvasser has started canvassing for me already two weeks prior. Okay, um, control your time. Your time is exceptionally important to an agent. Um, you get up in the morning, what are you going to be doing? You have a cup of coffee, your routine is critical. Do not stay in your pajamas, get dressed, get onto your computer immediately. Uh, control your marketplace, control your future. If you have the control of the stock, you have control of your future. Okay. Um, do an Excel spreadsheet because as soon I'm, I'm visible, I, a, a visual, I need to see um, how many properties do I need to do to make X amount? How many listings do I need to do three viewings a day? What are the amount of listings I need to do to retain 80% because I'm an 80%. I don't want 70%. I want an 80% because that's top. Okay. It's like putting in uh, three coins and you need to put in five coins on, on a gambling machine. You need to do max bet all the time. Um, keep constant focus. I'm finishing off now, Anton. Keep constant focus on your discipline and your commitment, your personal plan, what is your personal plan? Time required for work, spirit, spirituality, family, and friends. You need to find out what that is. Accountability, set goals for yourself. Everybody, every manager says set goals, but what is your goal? What is your goal? Do you want to be the best you can be? Do you want a best listing? Do you, what do you want to do? Your environment, associate with team building agents um, and high achieving agents. If you're not a high achieving agent, go and, and, and uh, meet with somebody that's a high achieving agent. At the moment, none of us are high achieving because we all started on zero. Um, optimism and energy. You have to have energy to do real estate. Also, don't forget, last point, um, you get commission on PFS, uh, which is bonds. You get commission on the transferring attorneys, okay? You get commission from Anton on random stuff. Just do it and you can earn extra commission as well as referrals. So, so refer properties to your colleagues. Thank you, Anton. Sure, thank you. Sure. Thanks, Julie. Okay, lots of good advice there. The, um, just before we get to Gary, who I see is frantically making notes there because he didn't do his homework. Uh, <laughs> um, I just um, Madeleine and Jacques, happy birthday, by the way. Okay, you don't look a day over 26, Jacques. <laughs> okay, right. Um, okay, let's go back. Gary, um, Gary, okay, so we are answering the question really is what do top performers do to kickstart the year? And the <coughs> first one was, you know, what is first things first? What, is, what did you do to do that? Happy New Year, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Happy New Year. Uh, just a quick question before I answer that question. Has Rob just come out of prison? Because because that, that, <laughs> that, that, that hair looks very short. <laughs> you see. Yeah, you see. Now, Rob's really start ready off, for the year. He's really ready for it. Start, start, the new, start the new year with a sense of humor, a sense of positivity. Um, what do I do to kickstart the year? I don't start September, October. Um, I work a little bit like Julie. I start in December for 2022. I sent out warm, when I say warm, people you know or you've had one engagement with, happy holidays because people have got different beliefs. So don't say happy Christmas, happy holidays, wishing you the best for 2022. These might be people that said, I might sell this year or early next year, and that's worked a treat. I did four listings uh, on the, in the week I got back from leave. I took leave from the 2nd to the 7th of January. We took a late holiday this year. Uh, by the 11th, I think I did four listings, three or four listings. So, you know, you start the new year with three, four stock, uh, one of which is sold last week, uh, and I expect another one to sell this week. So. 
my medium is WhatsApp. I work differently to Robin Robin and Julie maybe. I don't really use CRM. It is a good system, but it doesn't, it's not my thing. Um, I rely on past engagements, referrals. I do have somebody to telecanvas that does, that does create opportunities. When that opportunity comes, just make sure you're the best, uh, the best agent for that client. As, the, uh, as my colleagues have just said, just be better than the best you can be. What do I expect of the year? Success. Um, the, uh, the articles that I've read over December, you should always read articles, it takes a few minutes to reach each one. We will get 0.75% interest increase this year, according to economists. We'll get them probably in installments of a quarter of a percent during the year. The market says the sellers and buyers are not going to be phased by that. So it should be a good residential sales year. I don't do rentals. I will do one for my community, but otherwise I draw the poke my eye out with a sharp stick, as you know, Anton. Um, but I will pick up the odd one if it's close by. My marketplace, my target marketplace is anywhere near where my kids go to school, uh, near the office, just picked up something in Blair Gary, or uh, my residential area being Rampock Ridge, Feltsford and Park, Rodeo Cup, that kind of thing. Planning, budgeting, you wake up every morning, not having a salary at the end of the month. So what do you need to meet your expenses and also have some reserves? Prepare, uh, make sure you've always got stock and what's essential for an agent? Be exclusive. I keep a stock of about six to eight on any, any point in time. I don't keep 20 like a Pam Golding agent. When I pitch for an exclusive mandate, I point that out to the sellers. They love it. I set up a watch group for them to keep them updated on the, the sale and marketing of their property. Cool. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. Okay, so um, I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to ask you guys another question. But just what strikes me, uh, guys, that uh, these top performing agents, they, they don't have a recipe for each other. They don't seem to operate in the same way. But there's one thing they do know. They know exactly what they are going to do. I didn't hear one of them say, yeah, actually, you know, I'm not sure or I'm, I'm going to fiddle with this or try that. They know that, look, this is what I'm doing. You know, I started in September. This is what I've sent out. I've got the things in my garage. I'm putting them out. You know, Gary's got WhatsApp. This is what I do. Julie was sat on the beach and I made my plan. I'm doing it. I've put out a hundred boards, a hundred boards. But dude, if you haven't put out a hundred boards, how are you going to beat Julie in a turnover? Think about it. A hundred boards. Really? <laughs> It's astounding. But that's how you make the big bucks, guys. If you want to be a millionaire agent, you've got to actually perform. You've got to do something that's different. So if I could pick something to do and you don't have a database like Rob and you don't have WhatsApp connections like Gary, just put out 100 boards. There's a very good start. And then think about what I've just said about Rob and uh, you don't have a, a database. Oh, really? How can you not have a database? The whole country is full of people with houses, phone it. And you've got WhatsApp. Gary's got WhatsApp. What's, why is his WhatsApp so special? So I think that the failure of any agent is, is, is solely and utterly the own, uh, you are the author of your own peril. You know, this is what I like to say. Right, so um, they, it strikes me they kind of know what to do. So Gary, Rob, or uh, um, um, Judy, do you have anything that triggered when you listened to the other guy talk that you just like to say? Okay, if there's nothing really, is there anybody that's got a question for them? for any of them or for me or for anything are there any questions about the year or planning or how to get a hundred boards or how to make a million rand i think julie's on track with um oh, i'm sure rob is with his methodology i think julie's on track with the hundred boards yeah that's a bit of an investment to have a hundred boards but it's probably going to pay off and obviously she's proven that so i like that idea because uh, getting back to rob said cross link visibility is so important, whether it's over a medium like WhatsApp or a physical branding, because we have photos on our boards that that sets us out from the rest. So that's a great um, strategy. Thanks, Dan. Any other thoughts? Can I ask a question? Please. Yes, morning, guys. Morning. 
uh, should we mention premium listing or something like that? I just want to know a little bit more what exactly is she talking about? Okay, so it's uh, Property24 and Private Property have got a, a feature where you can go in and boost your listing. And, you, and they've got different ways and you can different pay different amounts to boost it in different ways. So what we do is we, we you, you pay, I think it's about 250 Rand, between 250 and 500 Rand, depending on which one you choose. And it pushes you up into the top of the page, onto the first page and holds you there. So if you've got a good listing that's well-priced and you want to keep it at the top, you just have to go into this. And what I've asked Cheryl to do is to build us a quick uh, uh, training session on property 24, boosting a post. So how do you go into the agent zone? And what is the agent zone in property 24? How does it function? What, what can you get there? And what can you do to boost your post? So what happens is like Gary says to me, hey, Anton, I've got a great listing. I want to boost my post. And he says, please pay for it, Anton. I must say, no, Gary, I'm not paying for it. And then we have an argument. And then sometimes I pay and sometimes I don't. But the bottom line is his post gets boosted and we either charge him and he takes it off his commission or, or I pay for it. But it, it keeps your posts at the top of people's site. Otherwise, they get lost in the, in the drag of the day in the rest of the ages. Uh, can I just add on to that one? Anton did pay for one last year. He's paid for quite a few. And um, uh, this Willsview property had been on the market a year. Uh, uh, open, exclusive, back to open, back to exclusive. And after price counselling, because it's now stale, we we can't we price counseled to a minimum figure. And I thought this is a, such an attractive figure. We featured it, we got inquiries, we sold it after a year. So it can work. Thanks. And Tom, can I just say something as well? Um, with Rob and um, Gary, they uh, when they get clients inquiring, they always send me the clients' names to do a pre-approval. So when they go to the seller, they've got a pre-approved client already. So that's also important. They're not wasting wasting the seller's time to do the pre-approval and tell your seller that my client's been pre-approved. This one. This client is pre-approved for so much and the seller can actually um, say, Gary or Rob, you've been working for your money. You've done, um, you know, the inquiries on your purchaser. You're not wasting my time. So that's something for the agents to also consider before just signing an offer to purchase, taking it to the seller. And two weeks down the line, you let the seller know that the client didn't get the bond. Cool. Thank you, Jenny. Right, guys, we've got less than a minute left. Thank you very much for that input. Um, I will I will post this on Antlogic so you can go and watch it. So there's some pearls of wisdom here. And guys, if you really want to learn how to do this business, phone me, phone Linda, phone. And I'm sure the top producers won't mind a phone call. But like I keep saying, you can't sit there and phone and drone on and on and on and expect a miracle. Ask them a specific question, get a specific answer, then flip and do it. And next time you phone Rob, say, Rob, I've done that. Now what should I do next? I think you'll get a better response from them than just like teach me your ways, great master. They haven't got time for our nonsense. So get our work done, guys. Right, less than a minute left. Training on Tuesdays and Thursdays, not Fridays, not so many on Thursdays, and lots of in-house training coming. We'll put it out there. Have a nice day and say it, Malcolm. Go and sell some houses. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Nice to see you guys. Cheers.